NEET exam is on September 12th. Now I can able to feel your stress, anxiety, fear at this moment. Because while I was preparing for NEET, I am also in the same situation now where you are. Because you need to achieve your dream, your parents and teachers expectation and on the result day all of your relatives will be waiting for your marks and so many negatives going around in your brain. All of these factors apart from study is going to add some masalas to your exam fear. Each and every student will have this problem and those students who can able to overcome this situation will be the achiever. In this video I have explained the three most important strategy that I use to overcome my exam fear, anxiety and stress and I found it really really useful and this will definitely useful for you and for everyone. Don't worry, I won't tell you to study better, make a proper schedule, drink more water, do revisions many times and all those kinds of stuff. In this video, I have explained three psychological ways to overcome exam fear which can be applied at the moment itself and your exam fear will vanish like a Diwali cracker. So watch this video till the end. I'm Ibrahim, NEET 2019 topper, currently pursuing second year MBBS in Metros Medical College. If you are watching my video for the first time, then consider subscribing and hit the bell icon to get instant notification whenever I upload new video. Okay then without wasting a moment, let's get started. Live in the present. Okay, what is meant by that? I will explain it shortly. There are three ways you can able to live. One, living by thinking about the past. Second, living by thinking about the future. Third, living by thinking about the present. Okay, first category, living by thinking about the past. What is meant by that? I will give you an example. There is a student who is thinking about his preparation journey like how he wasted his time before, how he procrastinated, how well he slept during class hours and how much he wasted time using mobile phones, watching reels, playing games and watching Netflix. Okay, if all these thoughts going around in your mind implies you are living in the past at this moment. Okay, second category, living by thinking about the future. What is meant by that? There is an another student who keeps on thinking like about the marks, about the results, about the medical college he wishes to get a seat, about the examination hall and his cutoff marks and etc etc. Okay, if all these thoughts going around in your mind implies you are living in the future. Fine. The main reason for your exam fear is not because you are unprepared but because of living in the past and future. You are not afraid of your results. You are afraid of how others like your friends, your teachers, your parents and your relatives will react to your marks. If you observe closely, that is the main reason for your exam fear. To avoid this, follow this technique. Live in the present. This is the secret to conquer your fear. I will give you an example. Let us take a very old tape recorder and you listening to some song. Okay, what will happen if you click the fast forward button? It will make some noise like this, right? And what will happen if you click the rewind button again? And this will also make some noises, right? What happens if you click the play button? Then the pleasant song will sing and without making a noise. Fast forward button is like your future and rewind button is like your past. If you live by thinking about the both, the things will be unpleasant. Just click the play button, live in the present peacefully. You cannot change the past and future is not in our hands and only thing we can control is our present. Always keep this in mind. And second most important point is adrenaline. Adrenaline is fight or flight hormone. When you are in fear, adrenaline is secreted. Because of this, heart will pump faster, you will get a sweat and pupil will be dilated. These kinds of responses can be seen when you are in excitement also. When you are excited, heart will pump faster, you have sweating and there will be dilation in your pupil. Okay, here also adrenaline is responsible for that. So adrenaline is responsible for both excitement and fear. Fear decreases your performance and excitement will improve your performance. And here is the secret. In order to conquer your fear, you need to convert your fear into excitement. But how can you do that? If you observe closely, there is a slight difference between fear and excitement and that is breathing pattern. When you are in fear, just take a deep breath and hold it for 5 seconds. And while you expire, expire with a little smile in your face. This can convert your fear into excitement. Every student will have a plan to complete their syllabus. But my question is, who has the plan to improve his positivity? Have you tried to be positive in your life? Many students will think 
what will happen if this question doesn't come for the exam and what if the exam is very difficult or what will happen if i can't crack the exam and so much of negativities if you are thinking all those nonsense things how can you study better instead of thinking like this do this small meditation daily close your eyes and just visualize the thing or make a movie imagine you are going to the exam hall an examiner distributes the question paper and you find all the questions are really very easy and you can able to remember all the answer and you did very well in exam and finally you got a seat in your dream college just do this meditation after waking up and before going to sleep this is called the law of attraction if you think good good things will come to you please remember this point little amount of fear will help you to perform better so don't worry about that everyone knows cheetah is the fastest animal but to escape from cheetah the prey needs to run faster than that yes the prey will run faster because of fear yes fear will definitely help you to push harder but you need to use your fear as an excitement then it makes wonders for you before concluding i like to say one thing to you my friends what marks you get won't determine the quality of your life but with how much integrity you exercise will definitely improve the quality of your life make your board exam board exam and neat exam neat exam and i believe you will definitely reach your target and will definitely get a seat in your dream college all the very best for your exams by your friend ibrahim neat master god bless you